Hi, I've been asked to comment on the current coronavirus uh, outbreak and, and how it might be affecting the real estate industry. And I'd like to come at it from a couple of different perspectives. Uh, you know, we as agents have uh, been working remotely on and off for a long time now. Um, the company I work for, uh, we were 10 year old business. Um, we have 600 full time staff and, and 28,000 agents in four countries. We've never had a physical office. So can real estate be done in a remote situation? Of course. Um, here in the Atlanta area, uh, our um, local officials have said that real estate is a um, professional service and can continue in these uh, in these times. On the end, other end of the spectrum, one of my business partners has her own home for sale right now. And she called me up yesterday just to say, hey, she was afraid to let a buyer come and look at her property. Uh, and we had a long conversation about, um, you know, her, my thoughts on that and her thoughts on, you know, her situation. Her husband has some underlying health problems, so she has, you know, a bit more concern than I might for myself. Uh, but I think, you know, if we can follow the guidelines that have put, been put out by the government and keep appropriate social distance and wash our hands and maybe clean some surfaces that are touched periodically, um, you know, I think we can continue to work. Um, you know, a lot of agents are getting more creative um, using uh, stuff like FaceTime and doing video walkthroughs and so forth. And that's one of the things I mentioned to her to just do a walkthrough with the client um, on the, you know, on a FaceTime uh, kind of video conference call and uh, and see what they thought of the property. And, you know, if they still loved it and, uh, you know, they could make arrangements to come over and take appropriate precautions. Uh, on the other end of the spectrum a little bit um, is the mortgage situation with the government coming in and doing massive stimulus and the Federal Reserve doing things. You know, interest rates have been very low and they're, they're at, you know, maybe all time lows right now. So um, the affordability of properties uh, is as is, is affordable as it's ever been. Um, you know, prices were inching up over the last couple of years, um, and this coronavirus thing may drop the prices a little bit because of loss of activity. But uh, mortgage rates are still super, super low. Um, so it's, uh, you know, it, it's become even more affordable than ever. So I think if everyone can kind of keep their heads on and uh, work appropriately within the guidelines of uh, the coronavirus task force, I think we can continue uh, to go ahead and people are home. So they may be more available to look at property than ever before. So um, let's just keep our uh, keep our heads on straight and and just push on through and hopefully we can you know beat this thing. We've beat much worse than this before and we can definitely do it again. So uh, those are my thoughts on uh, the real estate market in coronavirus uh, end of March in 2020. Thanks.